Roger over calls you. You're welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. As always, we'll be heading over to Manchester in about a half hour's time to join Martin Logan, who's been out and about with the Irish community right across the UK. But this week we have a fabulous Rambling House programme for you, coming from Choco Horse Traditional Pub in Kilchima. Marty Hoare, uh, lovely to be here in Choco Hoare's there. Fabulous traditional Irish pub, great history to it. Yeah, a lot, a lot of history to it. Um, pub here, well, I suppose the licence here and this premises for 150 years or so. Uh, we're not here that long. But, yes, uh, thankfully. Yeah. thankfully. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, my dad bought the place back in 65. That's the last century, 1965. And um, I started working with them in 76. And Marie came to join us in the business here in uh, 96. Well, it's a great house for traditional Irish music. You do your weekly sessions here and the boys we heard here playing uh, yeah, at the opening of the show here, they're regulars as well here. So it's a great house for music. Yes, indeed it is. Yeah, because my dad had a dance band going back years and years ago before I came along. He did a dance band to himself. And all well, so there was a great ballroom here at the time, the Crystal and Kids Well, it was, yeah, well, it was yeah. the Diamond uh, back in the early days. And then it uh, changed over to the Club Crystal. And then later became the N17. And uh, so there's been a lot of uh, kind of, uh, it's been an entertainment uh, town down through the years. You know, like uh, you had the rafter room across the road from us here and Aidan's on the other corner and one catering for the older generation, one catering for the for younger generation. So everything was kind of pretty well covered back in, in those days. What I love <laughs> about the bar here is the, the all the artefacts, the telephone, the old telephone uh, that's here, the public telephone box here. I'm fascinated about the cow you have behind the bar. How yeah, did you well, manage to get that <laughs> Well, actually, we were looking for a centrepiece for the bar and my brother John was doing an art degree over in London and uh, one of the ladies uh, in the um, school was making that as her sculpture piece. And so it's a full life-size cow. Um, I remember John, the first time he, he spoke to me about it, he told me, he said, we need a space seven foot long, four foot high and four foot wide. And at the time we had the bar already in place. So where we're going to put this behind the counter. So we actually had to knock out the wall, even though it was the main wall and um, put in an RSJ and across the top. Uh, that's a steel beam for anyone that doesn't know in across the top just to support the main wall and uh, then uh, build around it to kind of make it more uh, like it was a barn that the cow was sitting in. How is Kilchamoth doing in general? I know there's been kind of, we hear so much about rural towns and decline, but you have a lot happening here in the town. Well, we have a number of festivals, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we start off with the Paddy's Week that's just coming up uh, pretty soon. I know it's on, uh, it's a midweek, it's on a Tuesday this year, but uh, we will still be proceeding with having it on the day of the 17th. Then uh, later in the year, we have the Culture Come Home Week. Uh, we have the Big Red Barn returning to us this year and uh, we're going to have Aslan playing there. Then uh, later, in, uh, during that f- festival, we also have the Race to Glory and uh, already there are 350 applicants for it. Then later in the year, um, uh, with uh, Terry McDonough, which you'll be hearing from yes, later yes. on. and, and um, celebrating Rapture, the famous yeah. port from this yes, part of the world. Yes, and yeah. uh, our tourism group here, um, we have a number of them here with us tonight they um, are going to um, be putting together a raftery weekend Uh, so it's the first weekend in october also uh, on the 27th of march we're celebrating uh, raftery's birthday uh, it's 242 two, I believe so there's yes. a lot happening here Definitely. but it's, I, I would recommend anybody coming to Kilchema definitely come into here because if you want to find a traditional Irish pub you couldn't get any place more homely than here with the fabulous music and the singing and the dancing and all the artefacts here and everything it's, just to walk into it it's lovely so congratulations yeah. to you Amory and everybody here in Chaco Horrors well done thanks very much Henry and you're very welcome to our establishment tonight and uh, I hope everyone enjoys the night and uh, and, and uh, uh, I think a big round of applause for myself and, and uh, the team here that they uh, uh, are putting on a great show and uh, well done and it gets uh, it gets Keltama on the map out abroad and uh, around the country anyway and uh, thanks very much for including us in your programme so We're looking Thank forward to a great night Thanks very much 
Well, I hope you're enjoying our show here from Chaco Horrors in Kilchimal. We have a fine young dancer who comes from the town here. Her name is Leisha McBride, and she's going to do a traditional dance set. So will you give her a big round of applause? That was fantastic, Alicia. Well done. Thanks. Enjoy that. Yeah. Congratulations. And this is your mum here, Sinead. Hi. Uh, you're just back from Birmingham for a competition. Yes, the John Carey Fashion City Birmingham Championships. She came second in the prelim. So, and then all, we have massive connections in Birmingham. My father is there, all the McBrines, and of course, my grandfather and all them did the bull ring and. There's so a lot of connections. A lot there. of connections to Birmingham, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, was it difficult uh, taking part in the competition there? Um, a little bit. I was really nervous. Yeah. Yeah. And you did fantastic. And we have this beautiful trophy that you've won here as well. You must be very proud of it, are you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Well done, okay. Thank you. So, um, and you, you go over and back to Birmingham. All the time. Yeah. The, I started dancing with Rose Ellis with Sean Aaron. So, and then I got Leisha dancing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. She's with Turley Duggan, with Coventry and uh, Connacht, so she's with Claire Morris School. And your grandfather's here as well, who he had a is, great connection with uh, Birmingham, was involved in some of the great buildings over He there. did. He did uh, the Marble of the Bull Ring and the Chines at uh, Victoria Square. So he's here tonight as well. Yeah, so he came back home to Kilchmouth to retire. Yeah, he came back to retire. Yeah, <laughs> Brought right. us with him. <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah. Well, well, well done there. Uh, congratulations once again, Nisha. And keep up the Irish dancing there. You'll be up there on stage with River Dance in the Mall in years to come, won't you? Yeah, and congratulations to you as well. Oh, thank Thanks, you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, once again, a big round of applause for a wonderful dancer. And her mum here as well. And let that be an end to the bitter wind An end to the winter And let that be an end to the bitter wind I go on over Galway through village and town I sing the old songs and I make the odd pound Making my way through the worst of snow When the weather gets better I'll head for Mayo And let that be an end to the bitter wind And into the winter 
And let that be an end to the bitter wind May all swear I'm going when spring comes around I can see stem, but I know by sound They'll be planting potatoes in the hard stony ground Praying there'll be enough to go around and let that be an end to the bitter wind An end to the winter And let that be an end to the bitter wind Now comes the springtime, it's long out before I've been on my travels, I've made them some more I was there last September, back and down When the boats bringing people to Galway went down And let that be an end to the bitter wind And into winter And let that be an end to the bitter wind Fisher at three and filler, long bowels is grown. Lay Sula gun sellers, lay cunus gun crum. Egg the sheer master, lay sellers no cream. Ban and August Tursha, the Jera Buckley. And let that be an end. To the bitter wind. Well, a man that certainly knows an awful lot about Rafferty, of course, is renowned local poet Terry McDonough. Uh, Terry, you can't come to Kiltamar without talking about Rafferty. Well, there's no way around it. I'm from Kiladon, where Rafferty was born. Which is the parish, isn't it? The real well, parish. Uh, yeah, Kiltamar is officially in the parish of Kiladon. Yeah, the old graveyard. You were down there yourself, you know it. Uh, the old graveyard there. And um, so it's, it's special for me because I come from there and I write poetry. So I have written this one. It's called The Last Bard because Rafferty was the, the, the last of the great bards who travelled the roads. And he was born in 1778 and died in 1835. He's buried near Crowell in County Galway in Killeen, buried in Killeenian churchyard there. And so I wrote this poem in response to the life of Raftery, his desire, he said, to return, which he never did. And Sally McKenna has done this great sculpture down here in the Market Square here in town, and it's called The Last Bard. This is the poem that I wrote in response to this sculpture down here and also to the life of Raftery. Lovely. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Terry McDonough. <laughs> On this or the Mung beech trees, I lie like a novice in moss and grass, and you are in those battered clouds, looking down at colours you know by heart. I was a fierce warrior here at eight. At nine, I hacked my name into a tree. A dog howls. In the distance, the river whispers, it's time to sleep. I wrap my book in fern and see stars slipping like melting ice. A fox bickers, a rabbit pleads. I smell red wind and shut my eyes to catch you reeling in the sun. You left Caledon in a hurry to do with the death of a horse, odds on a tall tale. With hands out wide, you trudge south to Chum, then on to Crowell and Gort. You knew darkness and could measure light. Come to me, come with me, show me your scars and I will curse for you. While St. Bridget hung washing on a sunbeam in spring, you dreamt of being a boy again with rod and golden worms. Flowers and lists of red berries carpeted the bog road in Kiledon. There was a first night in Clermoris and strong drink in Bal. 
Kalshama was steeped in laughter. All this was yours for a song. A poet dreams, a muse seeks its own geography. You're back, a sculpture in Kilchima, a bard trapped in open air for entertainment. I tried to keep an up-to-date diary of other routine events. A woman in curlers charts a love story in a shop window. Another sings of a long-lost lotto ticket. Health freaks check their feet before walking round in circles. A footless man peeps through the church railing. Planes hardly clear the houses and knock, and children are rushed off to piano lessons, and you say, Come, sit by me for a moment. I am blind. I have walked to Galway and can hear the sun. The child in your tomb will continue to outlive days of holy awe and judgment, and in Caledon in springtime, with nature writing colour into a new season, your silhouette, baked in earth and sound, is stenciled in the sky. Sunny, don't go away. I'm here all alone. Your daddy's a sailor, never comes home. Nights are so long, silence goes on. I'm feeling so tired and not all that strong. Sonny lives on a farm in a wide open space. Take off your shoes, stay out of the rest Lay down your head by the soft river bed Sonny always remembers the words Mama said Sonny, don't go away, I'm here all alone Your daddy's a sailor are so long, silence goes on, I'm feeling so tired and not all that's wrong. Sonny works on the land, though he's barely a man. There's not much to do, but he does what he can. He sits by the window of his room on the stairs. Watching the waves till they wash on the pier. Sunny, don't go away. I'm here alone. Your daddy's a sailor, never comes home. Nights are so long, silence goes on. I'm feeling so tired, not alone. Many years have passed on, Sonny's old and alone. His daddy, the sailor, never came home. Sometimes he wonders what his life might have been. But from the grave, Mama still haunts his dream. Sonny, don't go away, I'm here all alone. Daddy's a sailor, never comes home. Nights are so long, silence goes on. I'm feeling so tired, not all that's wrong. Sonny, don't go away. Well, a very popular song there from Jody Jerk, accompanied by Mick Griffin on guitar there. And certainly people at home would have enjoyed that song. As much of our audience here in Chaco Horrors. Well, it's almost time for us to say goodbye. We want to thank our hosts, of course, once again, Marie and Marty O'Hora. And all our audience who have been fantastic here tonight as well. We hope you at home enjoyed the show, the wonderful music, singing and dancing and poetry. Let's not forget. Now, don't forget, coming up after the break, we're heading over to Manchester. Martin Logan is standing by with some 
more great stories uh, from the Irish community over there. And we look forward to your company at the same time next week. Don't forget there'll be a repeat of this program on Saturday night next at 8 o'clock. So from all of us here in Chocolate Horse, Slongo Fall. Yeah.